Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I am going to be talking about my long-lost Invincia Deluxe Black Chrome Fountain Pen from Monteverde. So I've had this pen for a while, and it's been missing for about a year. I finally found it today, I was really surprised, uh, and it was actually where I thought I had lost it. It was in a friend's car, and I, we looked it over so many times. And I was actually looking for some sunglasses I thought I had left in there and found this pen right in the passenger side pocket door and yeah, it was there. I don't, I, there's no explanation as to why it wasn't found before. So anyway, I'm so incredibly happy to have this pen back and uh, it's kind of funny when I think about all of the pens that I've purchased since trying to kind of replace my love for this pen thinking I would find it. I've come so close to buying another one so many times over. Anyway, this was my first higher-end fountain pen purchase, so I'd gone from using um, Quebec of Sports and, like, I think I had a few, like, Pilot Metropolitans in the past. Uh, I just wanted something that was going to be a really hefty daily writer for me, and also I was specifically looking for a heavy pen, and I'd heard quite from quite a few reviews and a few people that the Monteverde pens tend to be a little bit more on the heavier side, a little bit more hefty, so that turned out to be true. And if you can tell, this pen has been chipped quite a bit. I was not nice to this pen in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I let it drop to the bottom of my purse. It would hit against things quite often, so a lot of the black chrome accents have chipped away, um, but this was still my favorite pen then, and as much as I love my Vanishing Point, I don't know if it will be my favorite now. It's been so long since I've used this, but I loved it then, so this has been in a hot car for a year. This is my first time trying to write with it. I'm assuming this was Noodler's Dark Matter ink. I don't really think I had much of anything else at the time. So, just sitting in a hot car, hot car, cold car, crazy temperatures, and just writes perfectly. So when I actually purchased this pen, I bought this from Goulet Pens, and I had a fit with this pen. I could not get it to write consistently in the least. I, it was such a battle, and I finally decided to send it back. Goulet was very accommodating with their customer service. They said they would take a look at it. Um, they did. They fixed it. They said there wasn't really anything wrong with it, but it was working just fine. They sent it back to me. The only issue I still had afterwards, I haven't even opened this up to look inside, uh, was that there would often be an air pocket in between the cartridge and the actual like place where the ink would flow to. So when I would insert it, there would be kind of like this air pocket and the ink wouldn't flow down. That wasn't the only issue that I had when I sent it to Goulet. I was having issue with a nib as well, which whatever they did to it completely fixed it. I haven't had an issue since. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so when I would notice, finally figured out the whole like air pocket thing. So if that happened where the ink wouldn't flow, I would just take the cartridge off and cartridge converter, whatever I was using and hit it against something a couple of times and then the issue would go away. So it was no big deal. Um, the other issue I was having was with the nib itself, which I have also had with my other Monteverde pen. Um, it's the same exact problem. It was with my Regatta pen that a friend bought me for my birthday. I could not get that pen to write either. And so I finally, if you've seen my previous videos, I actually bent the nib back on the counter. Like it looked like a food aid nib at that point and then bent it back so that it looked completely normal and it works fine and I haven't had a problem with it since. I don't recommend doing that, but it worked for me. So anyway, I am so excited to have this pen back. It looks like I keep finding more little chip black chrome accent, but 
I really do love this pen. It's so incredibly comfortable. And that medium line that it gives is exactly what I like. It's a little wider than a typical medium, but it is just so, so comfortable to write with. I do wish those accents would hold up a little better, but the nib is so comfortable. I really don't care. Uh, so this pen is actually still on the market and still available. So if you get into the black carbon fiber, which I absolutely love, some of Monteverde's newer releases have really intrigued me. If I get it, there we go, focus in. Uh, with their like their big giant pens. But anyway, I'm just so happy to have it back. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know, have you ever lost a pen? And uh, how long did you lose it? And did you ever find it again? Thank you so much for watching.